Hello, welcome to my videos. Here we have a comparison between DL380E and DL380P. P is for the performance models, E is for, I'm not sure, maybe efficiency. So we have two of the same 25 bay SFF format. And basically, normally what I'm doing is testing those hard drives or wipe them before I sell them else, sell them. So for the for the Dell server, they don't have the good software to wipe them all in one go. Uh, I try with the Open Manage or the onboard Dell tools that it doesn't work properly. Uh, the problem with the Seagate one, they only t test the Seagate drive. WD one, they just test their own drive and so on. And I like to use the HP server to test them. Uh, the big one, small one. So on this video, I have two of the Genic server running the test at the moment. Like Smart Test and sequent read test and after I test them I wipe them um, with the band if you're wondering this is the super micro um, 2.5 inch it just managed to hook on but for the Dell one the disc it just it just won't fit so I just start on the halfway and somehow the super micro one can be squeezed in. So I have to accept this one. If you're wondering why this one doesn't have any caddy. Um, because I lazy to pick the KD from the other server uh, or other hard drive that I'm using so it's just plug it in and it will work so not to worry about that um, no matter care perform maintenance um, if you want to delete the weight first you can do that sometime when the server decommissions they have the They have the existing array, so I want to just delete them. Hey, we say it's not genuine HP drive, but it doesn't bother me because I just want to do the smart test and so on and so here I have no array and yep. Just said the smart controller won't work on this, so doesn't matter. And inside diagnostic, Yeah, just basic stuff. So when the test, complete test.
ideally I want to test them on the same capacity but this is the last batch I have for today so it just doesn't matter and regarding the speed of the tasting normally 300 GB is like two hours or two and a half hours for the HP one but one thing I find out here so let's swap to the this one it's very very slow on the DL380 even they have the same controller the P420 controller here look a 1 GB catch um, they still pick up like 6 GBPS speed and look at the hard drive 20 this one is a HP D6 firmware so it's a genuine HP drive if you have a look on the status let's go down to hard drive 20 you see it's still waiting the test and if you have a look on the test time it has been like 70 hours nearly 71 hours for the for this one and not sure what happens for the DL380 models E1 it's usually really slow on testing hard drive so I would try to use this more if I can unless I have too much then I need to use this 380E even though they test 25 bay in the same time even though they have the Genium HP firmware on it it still take more than 71 hours and still not completed if you see this one number drive tents the fail one normally I just discard them and just just chuck it to the scrap and thank you for the watching so just show you how the drive testing on the HP server and if you wonder about this warning light because I just plugged in one power supply unit from the from the backup the UPS went back to the test lock and yeah this is P20 integrated for the free ADP and thank you for the watch